Hi, Dragon Master Magi. I'm so happy to see you again. So, which one of you smashed 11 crap out of that subscribe button and dropped a thousand dollars on Dragon Master Magia? Hey, is this another 10 minute discussion about Dragon Master Magia? Unclick buy him, Cole 40. Uh, okay. I've said this countless times, but I think I need to revisit this for those of you that don't seem to understand. Why are you? thinking about taking out a loan, missing your rent payment out here, just to get a Dragon Master Magi. What is wrong with this community out here? All right, I'm old, I understand that. But I can wholeheartedly assure you out here that with the amount of tournament data and the amount of info that I have been trying to push out to you, that you do not need to have. You do not need to have. You do not need to have. You do not need to compulsively spend that $1,000 to have a Dragon Master Magia. Now, what alternatives to this? Get it, get it, Blue Eyes Alternative Way Dragon? So, to everybody out here looking at Magia and going, no, Robbie, you don't understand. You need to have this card. This is the best competitive build out here. You know, <clears throat> triple Omni Nigga, once per spell, once per monster. Once per trap card, I have never felt safer with my money. And it's like, oh yeah, my deck is worth a thousand dollars. What are you gonna do about it, duelist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm better than you. I got the Magia. Well, I hate to tell you this, but uh, you're playing more bricks in your deck than you really need to uh, be thinking about out here. And this is this is my favorite thing about the whole Magia argument out here is. You're already playing a ritual monster in your deck to try to cheese this thing out, which, um, yeah, you, you can technically ritual summon it in the deck, um, but Blue Eyes, from what I have already seen, and y'all act like I don't do some sort of uh, playtesting, like, some of my opinions look very, very, very skewed when it looks at this stuff, but... I've done a lot of Blue Eyes testing. I've played against the deck a lot. And the biggest thing that I see the issue with Blue Eyes, well, one, going second, the deck cannot board break to save its life. All right, that's, <laughs> believe it or not, if your deck can't board break, yeah, sure, you can play things like Lightning Storms, Dark Moon, No Mores, Board Breakers, but uh, you, you got a lot to kind of think about when you're board breaking in that sense you know so board breakers aren't really something that blue eyes i feel like considering how many how many cards in your hand you're going to try to want to push out here especially once again if you're trying to play magia all right so putting in cards that are going to be dead draws ah yes i love drawing my ritual monster that i chose to play as an additional brick uh you've also got people out here that are going to look at this build and they're going to be like oh i need to play three blue eyes white dragons i don't understand why people are so afraid to mess with the numbers of blue eyes the most consistent blue eyes numbers out of the ocg as of late have been cutting it down from three to two and dare i say i've seen even builds playing one blue eyes white dragon i know right bricks are an issue out here and you want to play dragon master magia so once again, the OCG has proven to us, without an unreasonable, fathomable amount of doubt, that yes, you can play Dragon Master Magia. Yes, you can play all of the Magia you want. But on the TCG side of the equation, you amply do not have $1,000 to be spending on this. I can name a thousand better ways that I would be spending a thousand dollars right now. And I'm going to give you a hint. It's fulfilling other card game addictions. All right. It's opening up other product out here. It's having the chance to be able to play other card games. Or even in that case, you know, collecting random things just kind of over time out here. Just to kind of have for myself. You know, do you, do you know how much, like... I, maybe maybe you just haven't seen the thousand dollars. Oh oh wait, what, you you over there? You over there? The card, the card shouldn't have been a thousand dollars in the first place. Konami, Konami shouldn't have made it a selling point on a product. Well, that's that's very 
It's very, very, very true of you. All right, how dare Konami cater to collectors out here? I agree with you to an extent. The only thing about this that I have the issue with is uh, this whole video I've been like, you know, you do not need this. Let's flip on over to the other side of the equation out here. Should this card be readily available? Yes. The thing that people need to understand at the moment is Blue Eyes Magia will eventually receive its reprint, and I do expect it to be somewhere either very close to the structure deck or a little bit after the structure deck. You picking up $36 worth of structure decks with all of these staples in it, by the way, you can give these staples to your friend, they can now play the game while you're sitting here molding over, you know, Magia not being available and anything less than $1,000 again. With that being said, Konami will reprint Magia. All right, whether or not you have to wait till March, April, May, June, July, or you know, you have to wait till next year's tens, where Konami decides to drop it in there as a selling point, you will have a Magia. You will be able to play it eventually. This instant, I need it now that this community, you know, has been trying to mold up. You know, why don't you just play the better build without Magia? Why don't you? Why don't you just? Try to play to win out here. You know, dare I say, dare I say that you could be one of the few people that takes the Blue Eyes deck, win the optimized version without Magia, by the way, and go win some tournaments with it, build up some cards with the deck over a two to three month time span. And then you could, if you pull good enough off of winning a couple box tournaments or something out here, you could be able to get rid of those cards for Magia, all right? Or, you know, greatly shave off some of the value off of it. I know, having to do a little bit of work is a very, very strange thing out here. And I expect only 1% of people to be able to do what I just described, you know? Being able to play Blue Eyes, being a good enough player to pilot it through the Exodus that is going to be Dreadnator meta. And to accomplish that top seed out here, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of hard work. But it can be done, all right? So, one, you do not need Dragon Master Magia. Magia is a very expensive looking piece of paper that bulks down the deck in a way that is not necessarily the most consistent thing in the world. Two, needing to have instant gratification towards the card just to kind of verify you have all sources or resources available to play it can feel a little bit discouraging. But looking at tournament result data and understanding, and the one guy over there, you, I've waited for you, to the one guy that's going to tell me, OCG tournaments don't matter, Robbie, I'm telling you, all right, Dragon Master Magi is just the best thing ever, all right? You don't know what you're talking about, you fatty. All right, I'm going to tell you the same thing I say all the time. OCG tournament data... Our formats are essentially the same. Yes, we have differences in ban list, but when that power creep comes down and you'll be looking at the tournament data and ratios, they're the same freaking thing minus max C. All right? You will be able to understand this. Just test the build without Magia. Cut all that extra garbage that you're playing. Stop playing three blue eyes. Stop playing three blue eyes alternative white dragons. All right, stop trying to play all the bad cards because you think you're Seto Kaiba and you stole your mom's credit card out here trying to buy this thing. It's not worth it. All right, don't go into fraud. All right, do I need to? Do we need to have a life lesson here, everybody? Fraud is bad. Okay. All right, stealing people's info is bad. Okay. Trying to have a Dragon Master Magia on someone else's wallet. That's bad. Okay. You're adults, all right? If you're not an adult, find an adult, all right? Trust me, that adult will probably be able to assist you in better financial decisions than trying to spend a thousand dollars. One zero 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 point zero zero. You guys are wild, you really are. To the people that picked up the Magia for a little bit less than a thousand dollars, hey, you're an adult, you spend your money how you want. I'm just here to get a chuckle out of the situation when people lose their pants within the next year going, <gasps> How dare Konami reprint this card? I spent a thousand dollars on it. <gasps> you know who you're going to be. And it's, I can't wait for the comments. You guys have a good rest of your day, all right?
patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.